Hey. Bonjour. Uh, bonjour. Bonjour, guys. Welcome back to our channel. Bridge and Jess here. What's up? Today, we are going to be giving a rating of the men who are in the number one Netflix series right now, Emily in Paris. And honestly, we watched the whole thing in maybe like a... Um, one night. Yeah. So we decided today that we're going to rate the men for you because we're into that. Because there were so many. So and many. And we think it would be a fun twist. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We make videos weekly. Yeah, subscribe. And here we go. Oh, and we're also going to be trying escargot. Oh yeah, we're getting very French for you right now. We are. Je m'appelle Brigitte. Bon appétit. <laughs> Je m'appelle Jess. Okay, so should we try the Ascar Go first? Yes. Okay, we're gonna try the Ascar Go first. Also, we forgot our fork, so. Yeah, and we don't. I ate this once when I was a kid. I see it all the time. So we got Ascar Go from this mobster place down the street. Mm -hmm. From this island. <laughs> There's an island out here where all these rich people live. All the mobsters. All the money makers. All the old house. money. So we went there. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna try this escargot. I am really excited about How this. do you eat it? With a fork, but we're gonna do it with our fingers because we lack You just taste. eat the whole thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is the whole thing the snail? Mm -hmm. That is so good. Bon appetit. Oh my god. Thank you for bringing me escargot. You might have had limoncello shots. Might have. It's delicious. I have to fight myself from dipping in so fast. So this whole thing is a snail? Dip your bread in the um, oil or whatever they even call it. The butter sauce. Oh mm, my god. Okay, escargot. Okay, so we're going to start with number one, Chicago boyfriend, Doug. Office douche. Doug the douche. Doug the mother douche. Doug looks like a boring business man. He gives us, um, just like, you know, that lame... Corporate, like, up the butt, like, and yeah. like, my boss's ass kind of vibe. Like, I get drug tested, and <laughs> what are you doing with your life type vibes. Yeah, and then Doug, like, breaks up with Emily when she moves to Paris. After he tells her, mind you, that he's buying a flight to go yeah, see her. Yeah, that was messed up. She literally thought he was coming to see her on a flight, and he was just like, I don't think I can go there. But, so they ended up breaking up, which, thank God for that. Thank God for that. <laughs> we did, Miss Ungermeyer. Yes. And thank God for that. Mm-hmm. So, Doug, we give him a, I would say, 3 out of 10. Same. Or maybe even lower. Mm-hmm. 3 out of 10. 3 is what first comes to mind for me. Yeah, a 3, because he was like, okay. Like, you're not totally ugly, but totally douchey. You're not totally a loser, but you're just a douche. Yeah, like, his hotness, in essence, might have gone to, like, a 4, maybe a 5. But, like, the personality with it, solid 3. And, like, he was like, hey, what am I going to do in Paris alone while you're at work? Oh, uh, like, I don't life. know. You're in Paris? Find like, something to do? Yeah, maybe get a hobby. Get a life. Anything. Do you not have a brain? Trash. Trash. Three out of ten, Doug. Thank you. Doug the douche. Douche canoe. Thank you, next. <laughs> Thank you, next. So moving on to our next. Antoine, the scent guy, the perfume connoisseur who worked for the agency and was dating her boss. So. And he was married. Yes. So our first, first impressions before we even knew anything about this guy. I said hot. I said predator. Which makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that made total sense. And like, you know, he's that type of person that you like dip your toe in, but you don't have to commit. That's what's so hot. And he had a wife and a mistress, and he was trying to get with Emily, and he sent her a lingerie. Yeah, and then he was like weird about it. Like, it was no, like, that was for you. But like, oh, was it? That wasn't sexual. Like, yeah. how do you use the laundry and not sexual? Like, some serious mind games with this dude. And he was, like, a grown man, and she's, like, in her 20s, so, like, weird. We just don't know about him. I would give him 4 out of 10. I would say, like, a 6. Because she thought he was cute. I did. 
Okay. Okay, so next. <laughs> <laughs> next, we're going to be talking about the professor. Ooh, professor. I don't know what his name was. Me neither, because who cares? It was like her first boyfriend in Paris. Yeah, and to me. She, they met at the cafe. Oh, too pretentious. Yes, very pretentious. He was like cute at first. But then he just like yeah I know so much about yeah. food and wine. The more he talked, the more it was like okay, you're so involved. But like okay, are you like just because you don't like mainstream things because it's too uncool? Yeah, like Zoe, you didn't like him. Zoe, pardon, <laughs> pardon her. Excuse her. <laughs> I see what she's growling at, and same. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she feels about him. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, guys, so hey. you like chihuahuas. They're really nice pets. So the professor left Emily at the opera because he was too cool for Black Swan. Yeah, and like... Wait, not Swan. Black Swan. Black Swan is the movie with, <laughs> with Natalie Portman. <laughs> but we love Black Swan. We do. We should watch that. We will. So um, That's our movie. Swan Lake. Yeah, and like, I'm sorry, but if you're too cool for mainstream, then like, okay, that's the majority of the people. Like, Swan Lake is huge for a reason. Yeah, and like, if you can't appreciate that or anything, because it's what people like, then you're just way total douche. So, he's canceled. I would give him a 1 out of 10. Same. And he, all he wanted to do was have sex with her. Yeah, and he gave me creep vibes. Like, only yeah, somebody who's sitting at a cafe by himself can connect quickly with a woman sitting by herself like, at the he same like time. Like, he, like, set it up to get laid. Yeah, and he's always like, I can read people. Like, oh, can you? <laughs> One out of ten. Yeah, seriously. And then we have Timothy, the wine guy. Ooh, so first impression. Jessica loved him. I was like, he's sensual. He's like Nate Archibald. Nate Archibald, like I said. Okay, 17. Yeah, it turns out he was 17. Okay, statutory rape. And he didn't know how to have sex. Oh, she took his virginity. Ooh, I forgot about yeah. that. So we'll give him a negative 2 out of 10 because that's just fucking weird. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's weird. No, it is weird. And can we just say Emily's friend, Mindy, is our favorite? She's the best part. Mindy's the best part. I give her 12 out of 10. Also, who, are, who is our next guy? Our next guy. I guess we can jump into Gabriel. Um, His girlfriend, too. Way hot. Oh, we love her. I Way hot. her name. She's Blonde our girl. favorite. Way hot. Way hot. Her and we actually... Rich. I think Emily's a bitch for like <laughs> hooking up with Yeah, her. that was fucked up. Like girl code Emily. And homegirl is prettier than And she was Emily. like friends with her. Like at least if you're going to bang her boyfriend, like don't act like you're friends with Not her. Not just friends, but take your business type friends. To her house and be with her, her family. Home. Her family. That's some trust betrayed right there. It really is. If I found out, I would punch her in the Face. Me too, but you wouldn't even need to if you were her because she's way prettier. Yeah, she'd be like, ugh, au revoir. And a more secure woman, aka Emily, would not, if she were more secure, have done that. That's true. So that was a bad middle. But. But, anyways, we're not here to judge anyways, Emily. We're here to judge Gabriel. Yeah. And Gabriel, he's fine. Fine. But He's also, a chef. Just love chefs. I do, but also, if you have a girlfriend, you're kind of like, like you're what a cheater. You doing? Yeah, like. Okay, and they so. were in like a serious relationship. Like he like your family and stuff. Mm -hmm. So he's a cheater. So that. And she had money, point. and he didn't. And like, what are you doing? Yeah, like what are you doing? Like, like you trying have to prove a hot, biggest. successful girlfriend. Yeah. So you're gonna bang your neighbor because you're clearly insecure and like. Like What's your love? problem? No, it's not. But he was super cute. And the ending scene where they hooked up was hot. Yeah, physically I think you're hot. Mentally I think you're a bitch. So maybe... And he was kind of like an asshole. Yeah, which we like. Yeah, we do like that. So, uh, I think we're getting mixed feelings about Gabriel. And so like, we don't know what to feel about Gabriel. So we'll leave that to and you. what do we rate him? Maybe like 8 out of 10? Probably no, we eight. can't give a cheater an 8. But can we not? 
but like he was a main part of the show. Aside from his cheating, he's an eight. <laughs> cheating it considered six four. and a half seven. Four. Yeah. Four. Four. Because we love that blondie. We do. She's way better. If I were to see her, I'd be like, yeah. Yeah, we love her. Our next rating is going to be for Emily's love interest later on in the show. And he was, he worked for the fashion designer that she was working with. His name was Matthew or something. And he was confusing because he looked just like the Antoine guy. Yeah, like it actually. But there I was three the guys person. who looked the same. Agreed. So it was very hard to keep track. Thought he was hot, obviously. He did look like the same person. Yeah. Um, he was rich. Which we like. Yeah, his dad or something on the rest of the Doesn't matter. He's, I don't know. I feel like his character kind of got lost within like, the Gabriel thing. So like all I remember about him was hotness. Yeah, I don't really even think he was hot, but I don't know. He was kind of just a lost character. Yeah, I agree. And very confusing because he looked like the other guy. Yeah, no so solid I would, plot with no. him. So I would say six. Same. Like, because who like, are you? I don't know. But like that. Here. You're like the other guy. Like dips in, but nothing dips wrong with that. Right. And then our favorite character out of all the men was Julian. 100% fave. Um, Emily's co worker. He was our fave because he hated the Shady. 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 Shady, but in like an upfront way. Yeah. We're like, you just like are like. And that's how we are. Like, if someone sparks his interest, he's there. Yeah. yeah. If not. I like when they called her He's hick. not there. Yes. <laughs> that was yes. funny. That was funny. Like, right to her face. Which is better. I Would you rather that. have someone stab you behind the back or to your face? Honestly, maybe behind the back. Honestly, maybe both. Just give it to me. Give it to me. Because Julian was not scared. No. And he ended up, like, helping her in the end anyway. Yeah, because if you spark the interest of a Julian, you're worthy. It's all in the moment. Julian, I love you. Julian, honest to God, if we've gotten anything out of this show, it's you. Yes. You're you the light that shines from the sun. We love you. <laughs> you are the light that shines from the sun. Uh, you shine like the light, light from the, the sun. sun. Okay, guys, so... I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe to our channel if you like us. And we're going to finish up our Ask Her Go. Make sure to watch Emily in Paris on Netflix. It's an awesome subscribe. show. It's by the same creators of Sex in the City. It's kind of like Gossip Girl in Paris, really. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so watch it. Let us know what you think. Give us your ratings. Like, and love, recommend. We'll try some Ask Her Go. It's yeah. actually really good. Actually, Google where to get us cargo in the area near you, or Facebook it, whatever. And try it. Because it's very good. It's so good. Love you. Love you. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Au revoir.